on the last day of summer, 10 hours before fall, my grandfather took me out to the wall. For a while he stood silent. Then he finally said, with a very sad shake of his very old head, as you know, on this side of the wall, we are Yooks. On the far other side of this wall live the Zooks. Then my grandfather said, it's high time you knew of the terribly horrible thing that Zooks do. In every Zook house and in every Zook town, every Zook eats his bread with the butter side down. But we Yooks, as you know, when we breakfast or sup, spread our bread, Grandpa said, with the butter side up. That's the right honest way, Grandpa gritted his teeth, so you can't trust a Zook who spreads bread underneath. Every Zook must be watched. He has kinks in his soul. That's why, as a youth, I made watching my goal, watching Zooks for the Zook-watching border patrol. In those days, of course, the wall wasn't so high. I could look any Zook square in the eye. If he dared to come close, I would give him a twitch with my tough-tufted prickly snickberry switch. For a while that worked fine. All the Zooks stayed away and our country was safe. Then one terrible day, a very rude Zook by the name of Van Itch snuck up and slingshotted my snickberry switch. With my broken off switch, with my head hung in shame, to the chief Yukaroo in great sorrow I came. But our leader just smiled, he said, you're not to blame, and those Zooks will be sorry they started this game. We'll dress you up right in a fancier suit. We'll give you a fancier slingshot to shoot. And he ordered the boys in the back room to figure how to build me some sort of triple sling jigger. With my triple sling jigger, I sure felt much bigger. I marched to the wall with great vim and vigor, right up to Van Itch with my hand on the trigger. I'll have no more nonsense, I said with a frown. From Zooks who eat bread with the butter side down, Van Itch looked quite sickly. He ran off quite quickly. I'm unhappy to say he came back the next day in a spiffy new suit with a big new machine. He snarled, as he said, looking frightfully mean. You may fling those hard rocks with your triple sling jigger, but I also now have my hand on a trigger. My wonderful weapon, the jigger rock snatch em. We'll fling em right back just as quick as we catch em. We'll have no more nonsense. We'll take no more gup from you yooks who eat bread with the butter side up. I have failed, sir, I sobbed as I made my report to the chief Yookaroo in the headquarters fort. He just laughed. You've done nothing at all of the sort. Our slingshots have failed. That was old-fashioned stuff. Slingshots, dear boy, are not modern enough. All we need is some newfangled kind of gun. My boys in the back room have already begun to think up a walloping whizzinger one. My bright boys are thinking they are on the right track. They'll think up one quick and we'll send you right back. They thought up a great one. They certainly did. They thought up a gun called the Kickapoo Kid, which loaded with powerful poo powder and ants eggs and bees legs and dried fried clam chowder. And they carefully trained a real smart dog named Daniel to serve as our country's first gun-toting spaniel. Then Daniel the Kickapoo Spaniel and I marched back toward the wall with our heads held up high while everyone cheered and their cheers filled the sky. Fight, fight for the butter side up, do or die. Well, we didn't do and we didn't quite die, but we sure did get worsted, poor Daniel and I. Vanitch was there too and he said, the old pig, the boys in my back room invented this rig called the eight-nozzled elephant toted boom blitz. It shoots high explosive sour cherry stone pits and will put you and your dumb kick-a-poo kid on the fritz. Poor Daniel and I were scared out of our wits.
Once more by Van Itch I was bested and beat. Once again I limped home from the wall in defeat. I dragged and I sagged and my spirits were low, as low as I thought that they ever could go. When I heard a boom-bah and a diddle-dee-dill, and our butter-up band marched up over the hill. The chief Yukaru had sent them to meet me, along with the right-side-up song girls to greet me. They sang, Oh, be faithful, believe in thy butter. And they lifted my spirits right out of the gutter. My boy, smiled the chief Yukaru, we've just voted and made you a general. You've been promoted. Your pretty new uniform's ready. Get in it. The big war is coming. You're going to begin it. And what's more, this time, you are certain to win it. My boys in the back room have finally found how. Just wait till you see what they've puttered up now. In their great new machine, you'll fly over that wall and clobber those butter-down zooks one and all. Those boys in the back room sure knew how to putter. They made me a thing called the utterly sputter. And I jumped aboard with my heart all aflutter and steered toward the land of upside-down butter. This machine was so modern, so frightfully new. No one knew quite exactly just what it would do. But it had several faucets that sprinkled blue goo, which somehow would sprinkle the zooks as I flew and gum up that upside-down butter they chew. I was racing pell-mell when I heard a voice yell, If you sprinkle us zooks, you'll get sprinkled as well. Van Itch had a sputter exactly like mine. He yelled, My blue gooer is working just fine, and I'm here to say that if yooks can goo zooks, you'd better forget it, because zooks can goo yooks. I flew right back home, and as you may have guessed, I was downright despondent, disturbed, and depressed. And I saw, just as soon as I stepped back on land, so were all of the girls of the Butter Up Band. The chief drum majorette, Ms. Yuki Ann Sue, said, That was a pretty sour flight that you flew, and the chief Yukaru has been looking for you. I raced to his office. The place was a sight. Have no fears, said the chief. Everything is all right. My boys in the back room have been brighter than bright. They've thought up a gadget that's newer than new. It is filled with mysterious moo lack moo and can blow those zooks clear to Salamagoo. They've invented the bitsy big boy boomeroo. You just run to the wall like a nice little man. Drop this bomb on the zooks just as fast as you can. I have ordered all yooks to stay safe underground while the bitsy big boy Boomeroo is around. As I raced for that wall with the bomb in my hand, I noticed that every last yook in our land was obeying our chief Yookaroo's grim command. They were all bravely marching with banners aflutter down a hole for their country and right side up butter. That's when grandfather found me. He grabbed me, he said, you should be down that hole, and you're up here instead. But perhaps this is all for the better somehow. You will see me make history right here and right now. Grandpa leapt up that wall with a lopulous leap, and he cleared his hoarse throat with a bopulous beep. He screamed, here's the end of that terrible town full of zooks who eat bread with the butter side down. And at that very instant, we heard a clup, clup of feet on the wall, and old Van Itch clupped up. The boys in his back room had made him one, too. In his fist was another big boy boomeroo. I'll blow you, he yelled, into pork and wee beans. I'll butter side up you to small smithereens. Grandpa, I shouted, be careful. Oh, gee, who's going to drop it? Will you or will he? Be patient, said Grandpa. We'll see. We will see.